about it up to here with some of the rumors that have been spreading that CM Punk straight up quit the WWE as a response to a lot of creative bullshit. My son did not just do a Steve Austin. My son, Punk, ain't Steve Austin in these niggas. I will admit that the Royal Rumble was a stupid event. It was a waste of time. It wasn't as bad as the way people thought it was. That's why I always looked at things in a stoic, positive way. Yet, Punk hasn't shown up to Monday Night Raw. He hasn't shown up to SmackDown. Get off the guy's dick. Really, we should really try to leave some air for his dick, especially since either Lita or AJ, one of them is fucking him. The internet wrestling community hasn't specified which one it is. The Wikipedia page is making it as confusing as possible because they're saying it's Lita, yet AJ has been causing a lot of problems with Punk, and... She seems to be fighting for her man, so... Are they... Tr triple threading that? I think it's like a handicap match when they're fucking? I really don't know, but... Punk's had a lot of injuries. He's been strained, worked like a dog, and still hasn't been giving the proper main event status. At this point, I'm not really concerned about all of that, but... His disappearance is uncanny. It's definitely weird. I don't know where he is. And I really don't care. Well, that's not true. I do care because I'm making a video about it. That's a paradox line. And there's a lot of walking paradox lines. Just because something is a contradiction doesn't mean it's a self-detonating statement. It's still worth saying. And there is still some truth in that contradiction. And one of those things is that Punk's my bro, man. And ever since Punk came back in June, Nobody's been doing anything real with him. And since the environment of WWE has changed significantly, just over the course of 2013, it's safe to say that a lot of people are becoming frustrated. A lot of people don't like the creative direction. They don't like the way manias are being fucked. They don't like the fact that they're being worked at like dogs while stars that are part time get that are semi retired are given the main event spot when it really counts. And these are all things to be pissed off about. I'd be pissed off about it too. But is that why CM Punk hasn't shown up? Is it really that? Is CM Punk really this corporate anti-authority guy? Is he truly a Henry Rollins of the WWE where he's fighting against the corporate man? And he really just had to stop because of that? Like, I'm not even going to do this shit anymore? From what I can tell, the rumors are just rumors from impressionable people. There's no proper sourcing, but it's food for thought. All of it truly is. Because, at the end of the day, what is Punk's incentive to continue doing this bullshit? His contract ends in June or July. They... He resigned in 2011 after the badass Summer of Punk storyline. They made him champion for a whole 365-day calendar year. I don't know if 2012 had a leap year. I don't really care, but 
they gave him that. They made him drop his title to The Rock. Who was part time in that shit. So that Cena could get his payback and redemption. Made him job out to Taker in Mania. Another part timer, but the streak matches are important for cementing stars. They had him fuck around and return, beat Jericho, and then job ball to Lesnar in SummerSlam, who's another part timer. They had him do dumb storylines against Paul Heyman that dragged on, and they had him work program with both the Wyatt and the Shield. They've been really been messing around with CM Punk, putting in ridiculous storylines. In fact, a lot of the storylines Punk was featured in in the year 2012, they were all stupid as shit. I mean, this shit where there's a love triangle between Daniel Bryan, Punk, and that chick, AJ Lee, that was stupid as shit, and all this shit with Ryback, that was all ridiculous, Cena basically saying that Punk wasn't shit just cause he turned heel, that was, that was stupid as hell, and it reminded me of some ridiculous Hulk Hogan storyline. So where does Punk go from here? I know that he isn't going to wrestle for long. He plans on retiring after a few years because the guy's really done it all in WWE in a relatively short time. And he's not going to be fucking 50 doing all this bullshit, especially the way they're utilizing him in a retarded way. In a way that makes absolutely no fucking sense. In a potato way. They may give him a big push, but it's a potato push. So what's the incentive? There is no incentive. So even if it's not true, I don't blame Punk. And wherever the hell he is right now, I just want to say, free my nigga Punk. If he in the heavens right now, or hell, tell, tell him to like, open up a ripple, send them back. You don't need to deal with this shit anymore. Alright guys, peace.